Leonardo AI has a new feature, which is very cool and very handy. It's called Remix. If I click on this image here and I want to basically try and get my own version of it, I can come over here to Remix. Keeping in mind, I didn't actually make this image, but if I hit Remix, it'll copy the prompts, negative prompts, and every single setting that was used to create this image. So I can basically take this and even just hit Generate again. As you can see, it's actually got a fair bit attached to it. It's gonna use 20 tokens. Uh, I'm gonna hit Generate, and you can see here, I've got some pretty similar images. But what's really cool is there's a few different use methods for this. We've got a whole bunch of information here. However, we've got ultra detailed illustration of Kratos, God of War. What happens if I change that to Scorpion? Little combat. Keeping in mind, it may very well just create a Scorpion, but we've got every other setting identical. So I wanna see what results we get. And check out these results. We've got Scorpion, and they're not exactly the same. This one's probably my favorite, or this one here. But overall, that's a pretty cool result. But it's not just about remixing other people's images. There's a few different ways we can use this. For one, like I said, we've got the prompt here. We have the settings. We can also see they've used prompt magic, alchemy. They haven't used photo real, public images, and we can basically go through and see their settings. So that's a pretty, pretty cool thing to know. But what we can also do is simply use it as a way of finding good profiles. So I can see here we've used Dream Shaper 7 and Illustration. So we can actually go back and find another very unique image. Take this image here, hit Remix. And if you want the same effect, you can see we've got coloring page for adults, bold lines, dark lines. We have some understanding of the actual prompt itself. Again, you can see they've used Alchemy, Dream Shaper, and they've used the dynamic setting. So once again, we can go back and keep exploring. But here, Remix, Yuki OA, I'm a big fan of this style. They've used Dynamic again, Dream Shaper. So Dream Shaper seems to be the most popular, but this is a great way again, just for starters to do basic remixes. So we've got here Yuki OA of Ninjas. I'm gonna type in here, Darth Vader, also known as Sith Lord, and just see what results we get keeping everything else intact. And I've got these cool Yuki OA Japanese style Darth Vader images, which I think are very unique and very cool. So this is a great way for just making little adjustments to images you find. But the other thing I really like about this is templating. If I go back to my personal feed here, and there's an image I made in the past that I really liked, let's say it's this image here. Now I'm not someone who goes too nuts on the details, I have very short prompts, but I can go to Remix. I can go Disable High Res just for now. And I can then go, cool, I like the settings of that that I used, and this time I can go a powerful Jedi, a purple glow. And it's already picked Dream Shaper, Dynamic, uh, Alchemy. It's picked all the settings I used. So instead of having to go through and set that up every time, I can use it as a templating method for future images. So I click Generate. So we get these cool images of a Jedi Similar style, purple glows and lightsabers. But uh, just thought I'd let you know, that is a very cool little feature, the remix feature. So it's not really adding anything new in the sense of what you can do with Leonardo AI, but it shortcuts a lot. The idea that you can take an image someone else has created and very quickly tweak it, copy all those settings in one hit is pretty powerful. You can go through, learn new phrases, learn what people are using in their negative prompts. You can then go through, see what settings people are using. If you find something that's unique and the settings are then unique to, to accompany it, you can use those settings, create your own image, and then you can use that image as a template for future images. So I thought that was a very cool feature to cover. I just want to touch on it quickly. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you want more Leonardo AI videos, I have some on my channel. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.